Oh, you make you nervous? Should we go inside? Okay, let's go inside. Boy. Where's that bouncy boy? Where's that bouncy boy? Where's that bouncy boy? Where's that bouncy boy? my YouTube people. Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Hope you're having a great day. We're just now getting ready to have a storm roll through here in Colorado. So, we'll hear some thunder in the background. But, uh, thought I'd show you some of my plants and how they're doing. What's the bubble got? What you got? What you got? What's him got? Is that a good feather? For some stupid reason, they like getting the... the turkey feathers and chewing on them. He's a silly boy. Yeah, and there's a bunny. There's a bot bunny. Thank you. You watch a silly boy. Watch a silly boy. Well, as you can hear the thunder in the background, so... I need to stop farting around and finish this out. Everybody in there is enjoying some curd. Threw it around. Everybody's at the water trough at the moment. But, again, thanks for clicking on this video. Hope you stick around to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and whack my like thingy. But today, these 11 little stink bombs are ready to go outside. Yeah, my last batch of eggs for the season, quail-wise, I ended up with 11. 11 hatchlings. And they are stinky. So these little stink bombs are ready to come outside. So I got 11 more to add to my quail flock. The previous five that I hatched out are doing just fine. They are in with the regular flock. I have the door shut at the moment. I forgot to open it. I'll do that in a minute. But uh, no scalping, no dead ones, no nothing. My process of hanging the cage next to it and then waiting a week or two, then putting them all together, seems to be working out perfectly. To where no one gets scalped or killed or blood everywhere because quail are ruthless and really rather mean so I'm gonna get hi Jack close up on Jack so I'm gonna get these 11 little stink bombs in their cage I've already got them water and food so we're gonna set up the camera 
and get these little stinky bombs in there. It's outside time. That little bugger shot right out. Get back in there. They're easy to catch though. It's our first time outside. It's inevitable for them to be worried. Helpers, huh? Should we get the last one, Barney? Come here, Barney. Should we get the last one, Barney? They make some funny noises, huh, Barney? Barney. I'm not sure they'd actually <laughs> jerk. I'm not sure they'd actually do anything to it. I think they're just super curious. Because the pups have helped me wrangle up a loose chicken or two before. And Oliver's helped me wrangle up quail when they've gotten loose, but I think I just want to check it out and play. Honey says, let me chew on it. It's a fun chew toy. Do you chew toy? This sounds like a squeaky toy. Okay, let's get this last one in there. So there we go. There's those 11. All 11 are in there. Yes, they're gonna spaz out a bit and be weird because of the open bottom. This is their first time outside, so they're unsure. But, uh, they got their water, and their feed is in the back. And you can see all the adults back there, and drinking and eating. They're all good. Didn't lose a single five. So yeah, this is my... <laughs> Lots of thunder. Starting to spit on us. But this is my last batch of quail that I'm going to hatch out this year. I'm, I'm done adding to my flock. Because uh, all the ones I've hatched out this year make 16 added to my... I don't know. I don't remember how many I had before. But either way, 
I've got enough for this year. So uh, I'm not going to hatch out any more quail unless someone orders quail. If someone orders quail, then I will gladly hatch them out and raise them to this stage and then they can come pick them up. They are more intrigued with the piece of plastic than where the actual food is. Yeah, they're kind of stupid until one points out the hole and then they all try to get in there at once. But yeah, I think I've got more girls than guys this time around. So yeah, so there's those 11 steam columns. Now the next step is to be hatching out some freezer camp birds. Now when I go to hatch out freezer camp birds, they are chickens from my own flock. I don't go out. I don't go out and buy meat birds. I was going to this year, but every time I went to pick them up, they weren't available anymore. They sell that out that quickly. So I'm going to do like I did last year and hatch out my own meat birds from my flock. And then I'm going to be culling the roosters and keeping the girls. And this is a one and done type of deal. It's not like with quail. I can hatch out quail all year long because they mature a heck of a lot faster than chickens do. So with the chickens, it's literally one set of eggs, one hatch rate, one... If I only get like three birds and two of them are roosters and one of them's a hen, then I guess I have two birds going to the freezer camp. You know, it's a one and done crapshoot. Who knows how many I get. You know, so I'll load up the incubator with as many chicken eggs as possible. And whatever the hatch rate is, is what the hatch rate is. I'm going to have to reach in there and pull that out. Because they're just being full and stupid with it. Come here. Woof, woof. Give me that. It's not food, you uber goobers. But yeah, so next you'll be seeing me hatch out some chickens. We're going to get those rolling in the incubator. Rain's starting to pick up. That's why the pups are staying so close. But yeah, so I got those 11 little stinky bombs outside. Next is freezer camp birds. Eventually they will figure out where the food is. They're just having a boober moment. But, uh, yeah. So, freezer camp birds coming soon. Hopefully I get at least two hens to add to my flock is what I'm hoping for. But whatever happens is whatever happens. They make some of the strangest noises. I don't know if you can hear it all over the thunder. My dad says they kind of sound like crickets once in a while. See, told you. Once one points it out, they'll all figure it out. That's why I didn't feed them yesterday, because I wanted them to be able to figure out where the food is out here when I brought them out. I know that sounds kind of mean. You starved them yesterday. No, it's just, it makes them figure out where the food is. And that one is trying to get to the adult's water, which it has water sitting behind it. It's being a boob. What's he doing, Bunny? There's a Mahani Bunny. There's a bear peeking out over there. Well, I think I got them in there just in time because the rain's starting to pick up. So, that's how many quail hatched out of my last flock. Now they'll stay in here for two, three weeks. Probably till they start hatching eggs. That's what happened with the five. They started laying eggs, so that's when I, I knew to 
put them put them in with the others. And I just chased all the others into the house, closed the door, and I put the five in the run section of the hutch. Left them there for a bit to you know figure out where the food and water is. And then I just opened the door and introduced each other, everybody to each other. So yeah. Turned out well. No one's hurt, no one's scalped. So that's the same thing I'm gonna do with these 11. And everybody's all excited and crowing at each other. So I think I'm gonna stop rambling before my camera gets soggy. Wrap up this video. So I got little watchers behind me. You got a watcher behind me? There's a bubble. What do you think? Come here, Barney. Come here, Barney. Come here, honey, Barney. Here's a honey bunny. I don't know, over. He doesn't like the thunder, so he's sticking close. Which is fine. Whatever. Shall we end this video, honey? So those are my 11 stink bombs. They are not stinky bombs. They're cute puppies. Where'd my cute puppies go? You walked out of shot. Where'd my cute puppies go? Everybody went behind me. Everybody went behind There's a bear. There's a bear. There's a bear. There's a bear. Nobody wants to be on camera. He keeps it sitting just out of frame, honey bunny. You find me, bunny. Yeah. There they are. Okay, let's end this video. So those are my 11 stink bombs. Had a good hatch rate this time. And they're gonna stay in there for two, three weeks. We'll go from there, see how it goes. Next is going to be freezer camp birds. So I'm gonna start hatching those out. See how that goes, hopefully it goes well. So, if you have any questions about quail, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or anything. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the plants that are, are popping and growing really well up on the porch. That was mostly on the porch. And then I showed you my green bean patch and my pumpkin patch down here on the next to the chickens. Big bear! <laughs> he came out of frame, Bubba. There they are. The thunder's got them a little nervous is why they're so ho-hum at the moment. But we got a storm rolling through. Hopefully it'll fill back up all my rain barrels because some of them are start to dwindle. So, I'm going to end this video. Does it smell good? Finally got those little stink bombs out of the house. I don't understand how people can keep those in the house. They just, they're just nasty, stinky things. I ha couldn't handle it anymore. And since the nighttime was getting warmer, I said, that's it. They're outside. So... It's okay, they'll do good. They are all feathered out. They don't have baby fat fluff anymore. So I'm gonna start rambling. Get everybody inside before they end up soggy. Hum, bum, bum. So thanks for watching Just What I Do. Whack my like thingy, and I'll catch you next time on Just What I Do. Don't forget to catch my uh, uh, Sunday and Friday videos. I have some new series coming up. Right now, we're playing a game of bait or no bait. We're using different things, you know, different things like dummy worms or hot dogs or, you know, different things to see if we can catch a trout. That's our new series, bait or no bait. So you'll have to check out my Friday videos to see if it's bait. Haven't come across a no bait yet. But uh, we've used a couple different things. And I've caught a trout on each one at the lake. Is that making you nervous? Should we get inside, you think? Okay, so you'll have to check out that series. It's called Bait or No Bait. It's in my Friday videos. Check it out if you're curious to see what kind of stuff we're using as bait or if you have an idea of what to try to use as bait to catch a trout, leave a comment down below and I will definitely throw it in a bait or no bait video.
So again, rain's starting to pick up. We're gonna get inside because they're all nervous about the thunder. So again, thanks for watching Just What I Do. Don't forget to whack my like thingy, subscribe. I'm over 600 subscribers finally. So now my next goal is 700. I'm hopeful, hoping for 700 by the end of next month, but who knows, with YouTube, it's a crapshoot. I could have 600 one day, go back and have 590 the next day. You never know. So I'd, I'd love to have 1,000. That would be awesome if I hit 1,000 by the end of the month, but you know, we have to be realistic. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. I wish it would. But that's okay, I'm gonna keep pushing out videos and we'll eventually get there. So again, I'm gonna start rambling, I do that a lot. Thanks for watching, just what I do. Whack the like button. So, thanks for watching, just what I do. Whack my like thingy and I'll catch you next time on just what I do. That was some serious lightning right there. Saw it flash across the camera. Make you nervous? Should we go inside? Okay, let's go inside.